DJ Pro Sampler Tutorial. I'm DJ Spiegelspin and I'm gonna show you all about it. DJ Justin in the house. DJ Pro Sampler is one of my favorite features that DJ Pro AI offers and I feel like a lot of people might overlook it or there might be some things that you never thought that you could do with the sampler. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some out of the box ways to use the sampler that you might not have thought about. So here is the sampler. You could access it in pro mode, which is the new two deck mode. This is the mode that I usually use the sampler on because you have access to the jog wheels and you pretty much have access to all of the samples. If you go over here to the looper, screen you have a little bit of a bigger screen but you don't really gain anything and you just lose the access to the decks and i feel like you get less control in that section also in classic mode you could access it in the middle but you don't get all of them so that's one thing to keep in mind so for most of this video we're going to be using it in pro mode so over here we have samples that go all the way across. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and 16. So when you're using a controller that has four pads on each side, or eight pads on each side, then you can access all of these samples on your controller. But if you're not using the controller, you could just, to use the sample, you just press the button, and then it'll play the sample. Now, if you wanna have the sample play to the B and B in sync, you press the record button. So let me just give you guys a little background beat and I'll show you how this works. Well, I'll set it with the, the looper. I'm gonna make a separate video specifically about the looper and I'm also gonna make a separate video on how to produce your own original tracks using these tools all in the DJ Pro app, but that'll be a different video. So we got a beat, this is kind of a weird beat, but it's just an example. So as you see, it'll play your sample in sync in the beat at the same BPM. So it, you could do this if you're playing a regular song or if you're doing a looper beat and it's really cool and it could be used to produce your own original tracks and original beats. Now, another thing to keep in mind is this volume slider because some of the built-in samples are louder uh, than other ones. Like this is the air horn. So I wouldn't recommend using this at full blast. What I would do is kind of have your finger on the volume slider and do one of these. And that's great to use right before a drop or after you do your intro and stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you guys my intro over here. So this is a custom intro. So I'm gonna play the intro. And then at the end of the intro, I'm gonna hit it with the air horn to add a little bit of pizzazz. So that is one way I always do that sample when I'm playing my intro at the beginning of my sets. So if you go over here, it's gonna give you all of the sampler packs. So this one, the one that has the air horn is not DJ sound effects, DJ vocal drops. No, it is DJ. So the DJ sound effects, this has all of the generic sound effects you would expect in a DJ sampler. So the air horn, they got a, a boom, impacts, tweakers, the laser's really cool. And this is the one that I would recommend using the getting started. And then over here we have DJ vocal drops. So you could use this if you're in your original tracks right before a drop 
or if you're playing another song, you could use Nero Mix, and then you could take out the vocals from the song, and then you could use this as your vocal drop. So let me show you that really quickly. So we're gonna play this right before the drop. We're gonna use, let's rock this place. yeah, we'll let's do Let's Rock, rock This Place. place. So we'll, we'll go to Nero Mix here, and if you slide this slider to the left, it's only gonna be playing the instrumental and the vocals are gonna be taken out. So it's, I'm gonna play the build up, and I'm gonna show you an example of one of these drops before a drop. So it's really cool. It adds something custom to your set and people really appreciate it. So it's not like just listening to Spotify or a song on the radio. It's an original type of song that you're playing and it makes your set a little bit unique. Now you could also press this edit button and you could change the name or you could go over here. If you go over here to the selection, you could make a whole new track a whole new list of samples and make your own custom ones. So you could do, let's just do custom, add, and then now we could add any sample from any of these sample packs and you can make your own custom sample. So this is a custom sample pack that I made. This is the one that I used for scratching. So if we go down here, scratching, so what I did was I used an app called BandLab or you could use the voice recorder on your phone and you could record your voice and put it in one of these boxes. So in order to do this, what you would do is you would press the pencil button, then press the three dots and then go to my samples and then you could record deck one and deck two, and then put it in one of these boxes. I made multiple videos on how to make your own custom samples, so I'm not gonna talk about that in that much detail, but it's something that I definitely recommend. Like I said, it adds a kind of custom thing. People hear your voice over the speaker, and if you're comfortable with that, I would definitely recommend adding some of your samples. And you could have fun with it, like when people come with their phone asking me for requests, and they play this song, play that song, I got a sample for that. So people find that funny and it's actually pretty effective. Um, a lot of people in the comments have asked me how to deal with people doing requests and doing one of those samples works well. Now another really cool thing you can do is you could record your scratches. So I made multiple videos on how to do scratches. So instead of waiting, doing them live in the set, you might be busy, there might be a lot of stuff going on, you have to get ready for the next song. Now, what we could do is we could record us doing a scratch and then add it into one of these decks. So this is the baby scratch that I did. So this is me doing a live baby scratch. And then this is the sample of it. So if you're DJing with a small controller or you're just having fun DJing with the iPad, it's sometimes hard to use your fingers, sometimes hard to, to, to get the motion right with the jog wheels. And if you already, if you know you could do it, you could just record it and put it in here and no one can tell the difference. So this is the baby scratch sample and this is a real baby scratch. So in order to do this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and we're gonna press record, start a new recording. So now it's recording. And then we go over here and we're gonna stop the recording. So now we're gonna do baby scratch sample. And now we're gonna load it onto a deck. So now this baby scratch is loaded onto a deck. So we're gonna fast, we're gonna play the song right to where it starts. Set a little temporary cue point over there. And now we're gonna go over here to the pencil and we're gonna press the pencil and then we're gonna do my samples and then deck one, cause it's on deck one. Um, and you have to hold it in for as long as you want. So make sure that we're at the part where we want to start, which is right there. And when you do these recordings, don't worry about pressing record and doing it fast because you could always take out the spots with no sounds. So over here, now we're going to go over here, deck my samples, deck one, 
and we're going to hold it in until the sample is done. And there we go. So that's that sample. So it has three baby scratches, so we could do. And then we could always change the name of this to triple, triple scratch. Done. And then it's going to say that there, so it's easier to find. So now we have our scratches saved into the sample. So if you're good at scratches, if you're good at doing the backspin or anything like that, any tricks that you do with the jog wheels or stuff like that that you figure out on your own that you like doing that's part of your part of your DJ style, I recommend recording them into the sampler and then you could ha have them right there. Instead of doing the trick every time, you already know you could do the trick, so why not just make it easier for yourself and just have it in one of these boxes. So, and then I did the chirp scratch too, so you could kind of mix it up a little bit. So, and then you could also have the record going, and then you could have this. That sounds weird. There we go. So now we got a loop going, and we're going to add some scratch into the loop. So just make sure this is 100 BPM, this is 100 BPM. So you could have your scratch samples recorded, you could have your scratch samples playing in sync, going with the beat just by using that record button, and then this is, you're adding something new to a existing track, or you're adding something to a looper beat that you made, or like I said, if you're making your original track, you could use these sound effects that you made. So D with DJing, it's always fun and people always appreciate it when you add your own signature to it and make it different than the stuff that you hear on the radio. So by making these custom samples, it is a really great way to express your creativity and your style as a DJ. So let me know in the comments if you guys make your own samples, if you've recorded any of your scratches, and let me know if there's any questions, anything I left out. I know somebody asked me, how to control the volume of your samples. So there's no way to control the individual volume of the samples. But what you can do, like when I recorded this one, you could record this one, but you could put the dex volume down lower, or you could increase the gain and stuff like that to change the volume. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. I make DJ videos every day.